let's look at some of the major factors affecting CFIT accident rates and the traps they can present. Then you'll see some of the solutions the international aviation community recommends. Accidents have many contributing factors. Investigators always reveal a chain of events that may even reach back to support organizations. Two-thirds of all CFIT accidents are a direct result of altitude error or lack of vertical situational awareness. Pilots must remain aware of terrain when accepting radar vectors. Some believe that ATC will provide obstacle clearance while in route off airways. This is not true. Remember, the pilot is ultimately responsible for obstacle clearance. For example, in one accident, if the crew had known where they were and understood that the clearance they received would take them below the minimum in route altitude, the aircraft would not have struck the mountain just 10 feet below the crest. Some communication errors and misunderstandings are due to language differences, lack of standardized phraseology, readback errors, or heavy workloads. Radar vectors force pilots to rely on ATC controllers for terrain avoidance. However, the pilots must retain vertical situational awareness while under radar vectors. Barometric altimeter settings errors remain a problem. There have been cases where pilots use the wrong standard for the area. Boxes at 3,000, wind 290 at 12, gusting 20, altimeter 998. For example, if pilots set inches of mercury instead of hectopascals, it can eventually result in large errors in the altitude indicated on altimeters. Cases of navigational errors involve disorientation with respect to the nav aid, improper transition on approach, selecting the wrong nav aid, or just plain lack of horizontal situational awareness. Today's modern airplanes have sophisticated flight directors, autopilot, auto throttles, and flight management systems. These devices make significant contributions to the overall safety of flight. But remember, these are only machines that follow instructions. They're smart, but they don't think. They do whatever is asked of them, even if it's wrong. When commanded, they will unerringly follow your instructions straight into the ground. Each crew member must ensure that both vertical and horizontal modes are correct and engaged. Treat autopilots like inexperienced crew members. Cross-check them constantly. Other factors include misinterpreting display range marks, procedure errors, database errors, or barometric pressure anomalies. In the accident you're about to see, many of the factors we just described occurred. As you watch this recreation, see if you can identify these factors. All right, just get the KL, then make your turn to 330, and uh, I'll give you the... Uh, the hell the effect Hit KL beacon and turn to 399. I'll give you the, uh... Okay, 400, zero, 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 Two five five three five five. Now you got two five five three thirty eight. All right. I got two five five and you need three five five. Two five five and okay. I'll give you a three five five over here. All right. You said 
Jack. You buy there, 329. Oh, Let's go over and do an ILS. We can do... I haven't even got the damn plate front. This is going down to 400 feet. Five five, still going to tail with uh, it's on yours. We go down, you feel uncomfortable. We don't break down, and we'll make a move. Okay? Okay. Looking good. Here's down, kill check, nab out of five pounds. Go all the way up, check. Speed break. Set. You want any kind of brakes? Uh, yeah, yeah, let's put the brakes on. Well, put them on here. Okay. Let's give it an 8,000 meters of visibility if you're fine. What? Yeah, it's going to be good. Oh, ah! So you got... That's the ILS thing, right? Yeah. I'm going to put you on 147. That would give you. Oh, ah! Oh, ah! Oh, ah! Oh, ah! Oh, Thank mm -hmm. you.